What's up, YouTube? Studio here. We're going to be doing a new video today on the Astro Pack 4 spoiler and basically my opinions on the reprints and um, basically in general the set overview. So, yeah, so right on, right off the bat, we got the ultimate rares Maxi and Necro Valley, and one of them isn't confirmed, so there could be something really good that they haven't shown us yet. But the Maxi and the, the Necro Valley. Uh, personally, I think they could have done better job. I mean, Maxi already got reprinted, and it's already a secret rare. There's really no need for make it to make it ulti, and then Necro Valley. That's already they already reprinted that as an ultra, and it's a super, and a common, and a rare. So, um, really pathetic ultimate rare, basically in my opinion. But the super rares kind of make up for it a little bit. Blackwing Gale, the Whirlwind, and Kalut, the Moon Shadow. Um, these two were pretty pointless because Kalut was already a super rare in some reprint set, and then Gale was already a gold rare. So, yeah, but Swift Scarecrow was a pretty decent one. Uh, let's go to the picture. Yeah, that's pretty nice right there. Swift Scarecrow has been a common for the longest time now, and seeing it hollow is pretty nice. Same thing with um, Fire Formation Tensu and Soul Drain. Uh, that, that, look, that actually looks really nice. I'm going to go and get one of those. Soul Drain, um, it came out a couple, I think like a year ago as a rare, and it hasn't got printed since. And Fire Formation Tensu, that's a pretty nice one in my opinion. Yeah, that was a pretty good decision by them. And then for the other ones, we got Spellbook of Eternity, Spell, uh, Spellbook of Wisdom, Break, Draw. What is this card? I've not seen one, seen someone use that in, oh, it's one of those machine cards, I think. And then Crimson Blader, which is a really nice one too. That yeah, that looks really nice. I want to go get one of those. And then what else? Consecrated Light, and that's pretty much it. So the Super Rares were pretty good. I mean, the Gale and the Kalut were kind of pointless, but I mean, stuff like Swift Scarecrow, Crimson Blader, and Fire Formation Tensu and Soul Drain were really good in my opinion. And going on to the commons, some of them, some of the interesting ones were the Lone Fire Blossom reprint. This card has been out, or has never been reprinted before, so it's so nice to see Lone Fire Blossom get a reprint in the Astro Pack. There it is right there as a common, so it'll be definitely a lot easier to get now. It probably won't reduce the price that much just because Astro Packs are really only available in tournament stores and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, stuff like Lone Fire Blossom, Fossil Dine is also going to be a common, Morphic Jar number 2, Titanial, so that's pretty interesting. Let's see the picture on that one. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. And Scrap Beast and Scrap Storm. So they're re kind of pushing the scrap stuff for the new Scrap Factory. And uh, but they didn't reprint Scrap Chimera, which is kind of kind of weird. And what else? They had Black Garden. Black Garden, I don't think has ever gotten a reprint. So that that's kind of nice too. So in general, I think that in my opinion, this was a pretty good Astro Pack. Um, until we know what that last ultimate rare, the ultimate rares were pretty bad, but maybe that last one can make up for it. And the super rares were pretty good, and the commons, you know, that Lone Fire Blossom reprint is pretty nice. I still can't believe they don't have emptiness in here. Maybe the unknown would be a Vanity's Emptiness, or um, what else? I don't, I don't even know, to be honest. Maybe a Dweller, or Cowboy, maybe a Cowboy. I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just saying random stuff, but I mean... Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below on what you think about this Astro Pack 4. And as always, like, comment, rate, and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Dog is signing out.